Hey guys, what's up? Coaster Nate here with my first video. I'm here today at Canada's Wonderland, my home park in Vaughan, Ontario. There's Vortex. And over here is where the new dive coaster is going to be the next year. There's more construction over there. And I'll get to that soon. But I'm just here today doing a walk through the park. Some music over there. Originally I was planning to be here next week, but um, I thought maybe today because there was some rain in the forecast. And as you can see, that didn't end up so good. So yeah, it's pretty busy today. But yeah, I usually come here pretty often, like once a week. But yeah, here are some footers for the new ride next year. Here's Vortex. There's the tunnel for the first drop. That's gonna be really cool. And just the pond here. More footers. Over here, we have a teaser poster for August 15th. There's going to be an announcement on Wednesday for the new dive coaster. A lot of people are saying it could be called Ziz, but there have been a lot of other teaser posters hinting that it's going to be themed to a gold rush. So I thought that would be very interesting. I'd like to see the theme for that once it comes out. And here's the track, first piece. just came in a few days ago so yeah pretty exciting we're making progress here but I really wanted them to take down Wild Beast one of the wooden coasters here and just turn it into an RMC but oh well at least we're getting something new it's been four years since our last coaster Guardian a dark ride but it's been six years since her last good coaster, so. Here's Mindbuster. Over here is the bridge. There's a lot of koi fish, as you can see here. Anyway, it's a nice day at the park, even if the crowds are pretty big today. There's still a lot to do, like shows, you know, some stuff like that. Coke station. There's flight deck in the back. going to walk through this drawing studio. Oh, here's a slingshot. Maybe I can get it. Guys, if you haven't been on Slingshot, 
I absolutely recommend it to do it at least once. It is a bit expensive, it's $25 per person. I have been on it twice, but it is worth it. At least to try it once, try something new. Here's one seeker. Here's some geese. Oh, this guy's following me. You want to be in the vlog too, buddy? Okay then. Nice response. Okay, and over here is the other tunnel, the exit of the drop. Yeah. The only dive coaster I've ever been on is Val Raven. And the best part of the ride, which is what a lot of people will agree with me, is the 260 degree roll, where you feel like you're going in slow motion. That's just the best part of the ride, hands down. But yeah, I've only been to Cedar Point and here. Canada's Wonderland is my home park. I have a season pass and I come here pretty often, so, yeah. There's Guardian, or Dark Ride. There's a line for it over there, I'm not sure if you can see. But yeah, it's always long, it's always like an hour or more, at least. Even on those rainy days where nobody is here, that always has a line. I haven't even been on it once this year. So, if you're here at Canada's Wonderland, don't try going on Guardian unless you really like video games. But, it's alright. I mean, it's pretty good. But still, the only two good rides here are Leviathan and Behemoth. So, those are the main ones you want to get on, and quickly, because they are always the ones to get the longest line. There's Vortex, again, going up the lift hill. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Please stay tuned for more and I'll catch you guys next time.